I'm going to be giving my thoughts on the ladies free skate at the Shanghai Trophy earlier today. So first I want to talk about the winner who is Shailen Kim from Korea and I actually really liked this program. I actually think this is a great time for her to be, you know, peaking and doing well because the Korean skaters are kind of ready for a turnover. You know, you no longer have Young Yu, Yelim Kim, Hai and Lee for sketchy reasons. So if she continues to skate like this and build her component scores and her GOE across the season, like she could be a world medalist with these kind of numbers right now. She looked extremely confident like she does this a thousand times in practice every day. So the jumps looked easy, the combinations looked better than the single jumps, which is awesome. I really loved the twizzles that she did coming out of the double axle combination. I thought that was really cool. And I really loved the choreo sequence. I thought for once in the program, she really let go and showed her personality and added some fire to it. And I thought it worked really good for her. And then we have Brady Tunnell from the US who got the silver medal in second place. And it was a respectable performance, not her best. And she even said afterwards that she really did not feel like herself today. And when she was first practicing, she just felt like she couldn't feel her legs. So the fact that she got it all back together and performed pretty well was great. I'm actually really glad she kept this free skate. I really loved it in her two performances she was able to do last year before breaking her ankle and I think it could really build to something incredibly special. Also, the costume is absolutely stunning, and I think this is the one she wore last year, and everybody really loved it then, too. I was going to say that it was really promising that the triple toe and the double axle combo looked clean, and it was called clean, but when you look at it in slow-mo, it was really maybe even more than a carrot. But overall a good performance, she definitely deserved to be second. And what's crazy is this is the second year in a row at the Shanghai Trophy that she has beat a world medalist. So let's hope that she stays healthy this year. And she's also making US Nationals really interesting because there are so many US ladies that are popping out of nowhere and doing good this season. So it's gonna be really interesting to see who gets the spots at Worlds. So I wanted to mention Ekaterina from Poland because I really enjoyed her, especially leading up to the 2022 Olympics. I thought she really had a spark and I actually thought she was really going somewhere. Starting off the first half of the cat's music and the cat ears, I just, it makes me cringe. There definitely were some positives though. I thought the jump combination at the beginning is still very impressive. I thought the step sequence has a lot of promise and she really performed it well. So I'd like to continue to see that grow as hopefully she skates cleaner throughout the season. It's sad to me to almost watch her now. And I don't, you know, take that in a bad way, but I feel like she had such a bright light in around, you know, 22 at the Olympics before that. And I feel like she's just not in that place that she was then. I don't know if it's injury, if it's, you know, training conditions or what, but I still think she has a lot of promise. But the jumps need tons of work. She's very slow going into them, kind of like Isabo, not quite as bad as Isabo, but she's not rotating them either, which is really, really holding her back. So finally, let's discuss Lona Hendricks from Belgium. Uh, positives, her costume is absolutely beautiful and I love it, and her hair looks really pretty. Negatives, everything else. <laughs> I thought the music and the program is kind of just level. Like there's no ups and downs, it's all just kind of the same. Like they should have spliced it up with something to make it a little bit more exciting in different places. Once again, I don't know what is going on with the jumps. If it's just, you know, she doesn't do as well early on and peaks toward worlds, but the jumps look weak. And back to the program, you know, she has beautiful spins and nice step sequence, choreo sequence, and maybe it would be a lot better with a clean skate, but I'm just not sold on this program right now.